what's good what's up uh happy labor day to everyone in kenya we celebrate today as a whole country although every although kenya has not been really doing well over like you know 2023 has not been the best but we actually have something to celebrate on okay starting on the you know i'm on sad note because that's just been kenya basically uh postmortem of the 110 bodies assumed at shakahola to start immediately see as kendiki said the process to take roughly a week and he claims if any of the shakahola victims have their organs missing we will tell the world there's nothing we are hiding i mean i feel like this is a really good thing because it will give everyone like you know the family members of you know the victims of shakahola actually closure and like be able to like bury their dead and like you know make peace with it it's really sad but yo i'm really glad that this process you know will actually give people like closure okay i mean kenya in kenya too like i don't know like uh four suspects were on sunday arrested during the operation in nuno area garissa country according to the statement from the directorate of criminal investigation that's the dci the four were arrested following intelligence report reports from the members of the public that they look suspicious prompting officers to take action the four the four osman yusuf gore 40 who's 40 years old ali farah dagani 39 hamid mohammed gedi 29 and abdullah ali omar 38 were in white toyota pro box when they were intercepted police recovered four ak-47 assault rifles over 540 rounds of ammunition like what machetes ballistics helmets and military fatigues among other weapons from the suspect detectives are yet to establish the mission of the four suspects who are armed with a deadly arsenal what's happening in kenya like when you think like one you know one misfortune is like gonna happen like something else happened like is this like another west get situation i don't know like you know you know what you do hit the comment section and tell me what you think about the whole thing because this is really scary i mean the police are really doing their job but are we really safe like in kenya things have just been happening one thing after the other one thing after the other and yes do not forget uh the azimio protest is actually commencing tomorrow so i don't know i want to hear your thoughts on the comment section do you think the protests are actually doing more harm than good or do you think they're actually changing something in kenya honestly i don't know where i stand at this because there's been a lot of deaths there's been a lot of injuries people properties getting stolen and all that i don't know if it's such a good idea because there was supposed to be peaceful protests but that's not what we've actually encountered as country as whole people have actually lost lives people have been injured people have been traumatized yes and actually francis atoli uh urges workers to please go back to work on tuesday you know to avoid being sacked we must he claims we must grow the economy and employ all those looking for jobs and actually urges president huru kenyatta to become a peacemaker and ask and poses the question what makes us think by going to the streets we will challenge the status quo i don't know do you think like the protests are actually like i want to hear what you have to say on the comment section or maybe like the government can just step up and you know the governors and actually the mps can actually do something to change these and not just like you know leave it up to like the you know protests and the government to deal with this because on the other day we actually saw um governor nyongo actually giving out five million shillings for actually to help the relief with everyone in kisumu was affected by the floods and now that place is actually affected do you think that everyone should be like governor nyongo or like the protest actually a good thing and should keep on going i don't know but i want to hear what you have to say on the comment section yes 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 okay um oh my god i don't know i don't know this is like a heavy topic to bring on but accused rwandan transgender fashion designer had show in kampala before arrest the fashion designer moses to a Turahira is a 35-year-old run and fashion designer who was taken into custody after changing the gender on his passport from male to female. The designer who boasts a high-end clientele that includes President Paul Kagame is being held on charges of forgery. Turahira was summoned by the Rwandan Bureau of Investigation, the RIB, after sharing a picture claiming that the gender section on the passport had been changed. In quotes, finally, officially a woman on my ID. This is fun. Thanks, Kagame. Posted Moses Turahira, who identifies as them or she on social media i mean wait now we can just go in our like you know ids passports and just change our gender as we want like as we please this whole transgender thing i don't know like i want to hear what your thoughts are is it really a thing or are people just using this as an excuse 
like so what i just sit and i feel like yeah no i don't want to be a woman no more i should just go change in my like change my identity and actually be a she and who's gonna address people like at them like wh- what's happening i should address now people like them them or she like w- what i don't know this is all just it, this is just all just confusing because rib spokesman theory morangira told the press to i Turahiro Moses was summoned by the RIB Rwandan Bureau of Investigation to explain the source of the fake passports after the Directorate General of Immigration and Immigration confirmed that he did not issue the said passport. I get why he's being arrested for forgery because like if he wasn't if it's not government issued then did he do it illegally and why do it is it like cloud chasing or like I don't understand what's going on. Like this whole thing is just crazy because yo Is it that easy for us to just change who we are because we feel like it or like is it deeper than that? I want to hear what you think on the comment section. Yes, Nigeria songstress song songstress Ira Star took an Instagram to let the fans know she'll be taking a break from her tour. She posted DC, VA and Houston. Your girl is going through it. My doctor has advised I slow down hence I'm on immediate bed rest. So sorry I called him to everyone as of you as planned. I'm also sorry you feel let down but i promise i'll be back in the special way for you when we we'll have a magical time i appreciate your prayers and well wishes apparently she's not doing so well according to a doctor and we should just keep her in our prayers and hope she'll actually be be okay and be back on stage to actually you know continue blessing her as with the music on other news i mean kenya is just i don't know i don't know kenya is just cuz Apparently a student from Masai Mara University has been found dead after going missing for several hours. Why just going missing for several hours and you presumed dead? Like that's just what? That's scary. The body was found around around Narok town late this afternoon. Police have begun investigation to establish the cause of the death. Wow. Okay. According to Intel, uh someone claims Odema lidungwa kisu na boy wake na akajitunga but boy hakukufa ako hospitali. Boy in third year, dem ni second year, alikuwa amefungia dem for four days kwa nyumba due to relationship issues. Now. So this lady ha- is actually dead because of relationship issues. The other day in Ruiru a body was actually dumped by the boyfriend because he thought that the girlfriend was cheating. The other day a body was found this woman was actually lying in bed for a week with a dead husband like what's happening what happened to breakups like let's just break up and like move on with life why death why is there death in cl- like there's so much death in 2023 i think they should just be a holiday you know where we just mourn the dead like we should just have this cuz this year is like I think it's like the most deaths are happening this year. I don't know what you think and I don't know why this is happening, but I want to hear what you have to say on the comment section. Keep it locked, come on, come on, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and yes, you better turn on post notifications cuz yo, the videos are going to drop back to back to bring you what's popping. Bye.